I was saying earlier that uh, Drizzle has been so sweet this morning, I think I'm going to have to put collars back on them to tell who's who. This is, uh, this is Drizzle, though. She's uh, acting just like her sister. Okay, let's check these camera angles. Yeah, not bad. I think I can use that side camera maybe to get a slightly better view of whatever we're doing. Maybe. Ugh. The uh, app I used to control the camera just... Uh, our network works exactly the way it should. This app has always had trouble. I don't know. Very annoying. I think that's going to do, though. Sure. Oh, Drizzo, it's proud. You guys are out for blood this morning, huh? Okay. Well, we're already recording. We've got about a minute before mailbag is supposed to start, but I might as well uh, get started early. Let's see here. Just double check everything. Good. There. Fantastic. All right. Well, uh, so uh, the news this week, I, I think the news this week is that we have adopters now for everyone. Um, except for, I think, Greg and uh, Till. So everybody else, including Sprout and Drizzle, uh, have their adopters. I haven't reached out to everybody yet. I, I, think, I think I said this the other day, if, uh, but not everybody watches the micros. Uh, some of the adopters are on Discord, and I've messaged the ones that I know are on Discord. There's a couple of adopters where I don't have information about whether they're on our Discord, and I have not yet emailed them. Uh, to let them know that they were approved. Um, I, in theory, uh, Michelle at Dawes tells people when they're approved, but she did let me know this time that when she told me that she hadn't told all of them yet. And I don't know if, uh, if she expected then for me to do it this time. Uh, so there may be a couple people who have applied that have been approved and maybe don't know it yet. So I really need to make an effort to get them emailed ASAP uh, just so they know, but then again, um, the kittens in question uh, aren't going to be uh, ready to be picked up for uh, another five weeks. We've got the spay for Cal scheduled for, here, let me just check since I've got this right here. Uh, the spay for Cal, Cal, where's my calendar? Um, let's see. Hi, buddy. You heard me talk and you had to come down and say hello, huh? All right, so Cal's, uh, Callie's spay is scheduled for March 4th, and the kittens' spay are scheduled for all the boys on the 18th and holiday on the 19th of March. So March 18th and 19th, and um, probably all of them will be ready to be picked up that weekend. The boys could go even sooner, and Holly, well, technically she should stay a little bit longer than the 23rd, uh, which is that weekend, just so that we can make sure that she heals up okay. If the doc is uh, using sutures, as she has done in the past, then we may need, we'll need her to stay until those sutures are out, which takes a couple weeks. Um, and uh, that's still kind of a question, so I'll have to find out whether she's going to do sutures or glue. Um, but uh, other than that, the boys all, they bounce back right away. And, uh, you know, typically we know within a day or two if they're going to be fine. Uh, it's real easy for them. 
So that's uh, that's it. The adopters, uh, you know, like the earliest I think we could see anybody come to adopt would be the 20th if they were really excited to get out here at, at, as soon as truly possible. Um, uh, but then the, the 23rd probably uh, more realistically. Um, and it is, uh, I don't know, it's... We've got all of our rooms filled up with the kit cats that we have to kind of juggle. Although, if we brought in a new mom cat, we could make room for her. It's just already the permutations of cats that we've got to deal with right now are pretty complicated. Uh, with Custard here needing to be separated from Logan and from Till, and Logan needing to be separated from Custard and Till, and Maggie, I also keep away from Till, even though I've never seen them go after each other. I just, Maggie's the most likely to do that. And then uh, we've just started a thing this week where we are um, putting Cal on steroids. And because she's on steroids, she can't nurse her kittens, which means practically I have to keep her away from her kittens all the time because she still nurses them. And we tried putting the suit on her several weeks ago when I wanted her to stop nursing and the kittens immediately subverted that. So um, it doesn't seem like that would be a, a practical solution. The only good solution is just to keep them away from each other for now. Uh, so uh, we'll do a little bit of supervised time together, but if I see them start nursing, then I've got to break them up and I've got to keep a real close eye on it. So it can't happen all the time. Um, but that's all the news. Everybody's adopted except Till and uh, I think I said Greg. I'm pretty sure Greg doesn't have an official um, adopter at this point. Uh, I'll have to double check that, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, everybody except Till and Greg has adopters. The kittens won't be going to their homes until... Well, now... Um, uh, Sprout and Drizzle could go earlier, um, but I've talked to their doctor, and I know that they at least had a, a couple weeks that they wanted before they pick them up, uh, but I don't remember the exact date, so I've still got to work that out, too. We'll figure it all out in due time. Uh, all I know is that nobody's leaving immediately, and that's the thing that I really need to know <laughs> one way or the other. So, uh, and then as far as bringing in a new mom cat, I feel like we should do it soon, but uh, like I said, it's still pretty complicated here right now, so... I don't want to, you know, have to spend too much time um, wrangling the cats that way. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I think ideally, like, um, well, I, I, ideally all these kittens are going to end up going at the same time. So it's going to be, we'll have to bring in the mom cat, I think, before that, uh, before the end of March. Um, but uh, not necessarily long before that. Uh, the, you know, the sooner, the, the closer that we put her to when the kittens go home. Um, the less uh, cat shuffling I'm going to have to do. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, that's it for news, though. Um, that and the fact that um, I know uh, the KACON committee probably would want me to mention that if you are on our Discord and considering going to KACON this year, they're, they're already doing, I think, sponsors, uh, and that's all posted in the um, announcements there. So, that is that. All right. So, let's just jump right into it. There's no letters to go through this week, uh, so we will just start opening things and see where that gets us. Uh, the first place we should go, though, is to get some kind of a knife in here. Where's the green one? Hang on, buddy. There it is. Okay. Put that right over there. And... Oh, this one has an address on the back. I missed when I was covering them up. Oh, oh, I see. This is going to be all right. Oh, what a pretty bag! Wow, very pretty. Okay, put that over there. This says, "Okay to read on stream." Dear Mr. A and DJ and all the furries, just a few lines to enclose two copies of a poem I've composed for Calendar. As always, one copy is for the Academy and one copy is for Callie's adoptive family. It's always a pleasure to write poems for the kitties, and this one was no exception. I've tried to encapsulate just some of the qualities that make Callie such a special girl. She's a thoughtful and perceptive girl who's made the most of her time at the Academy, and she's always loving and attentive to her beautiful kittens and good-natured, not just with them, but with the Academy's humans. With her coloring and in her loving, calm demeanor, she, out of all the K.A. Mother Cats, reminds me most of Special Agent Star. 
I've also enclosed some wee mindings for Callie to take to her forever home. Wee mindings is a great phrase. Uh, it only remains for me to thank you for your continued and unstinting efforts to care for the kitties, fosters, and faculty alike. It is inspirational and humbling. Ooh. With lots of love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. All right. Uh, let's see. Take this little paper clip. And I'm just going to pull one of these out so I don't have to try to get it all back in, if I can. Yoink. All right, there we go. A poem for Callie, a calendar girl. I was going to say, by the way, before I forget, um, you say how good-natured she is, and she is, like, extremely the definition of good-natured, but I've discovered she does not take well to being medicated now that we've got her on those steroids. I have to give them to her twice a day, and I thought it would be as easy as anybody. Um, you know, I just kind of take them and uh, give them the, the syringe, um, put it right in their mouth. It's quick and easy. I do it every day for a teaspoon with his heart meds. Uh, it is not easy. She, the minute that you put her in that position, she's like, I am not having whatever you're trying to give me. And I even tried just putting her in that position and giving her churu without anything in it, not unadulterated churu, just so that she could get used to it. And she was like, no way am I touching that until I let her go and do it in a different way. And, uh, so, uh, she's, she's very resistant to that. It's interesting to see. Uh, but, um, I've discovered that if I take the churu and put it in a dish and put the meds in it and mix it up real well, she'll, she loves eating it. So at least we found a way. Okay, uh, this says a poem for Callie. Calendar girl, uh, calendar girl, you're a beauty to see. You're sweet and adorable too. And when you arrived at KA with your six baking babies on board, I fell instantly in love with you. Calendar girl, you're a marvel to see as you teach your kittens how to cat and your tailor-made lessons have enabled you your feline wisdom to impart. Calendar girl, you're a joy to see as your endearing personality shines bright, and I wish for you and your kittens that your future will be full of purrs, spoogles, and delight. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Thank you so much, Joanne. Uh, I know that, that Cal and her adopters are going to enjoy that, as always. Now, you've sent some wee mindings for her in a very nice bag. This is a cute little fish. There we go. It says squeaky. Oh. Oh, it is squeaky. What do you think of that, huh? Cal right now is locked up in the annex um, because of, like I said, she, she can't uh, be around her kittens and, and nurse them while I'm not paying attention. So that's why she's not running in to check that stuff out. Uh, you also sent two of the little rattan, I'm calling it rattan balls, It's um, and also uh, raffia, there we go, with bells in them. Those are also very good toys. I know that she's going to love both of those, and we'll put it right in there. There we go. Put this with your note, with your letter, uh, poem. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, thank you so much, Joanne. Let's move right on here. This says birds of a sweater all over it. This must be a, like a drop ship from Etsy from somebody. Birds of a sweater. Oh, here we go. Uh, Dear Drizzle, Sprout, and Till, enjoy the toys. I hope you each find your Aduder Valentine very soon. Tabby's Rock, not biased at all. Love, Fiddle. Oh, it's from Fiddle. That's so sweet. Thank you, Fiddle. All right, so... Here we have some Valentine's toys from Birds of a Sweater and Fiddle. Very cute sticker. <laughs> Their branding is adorable. Oh, these are very cool. Look at that. We have three Valentine's springs, big felted springs. Those are nice. And three little felted mice that are also, their ears are, um, the ears are very well done. Little three-dimensional ears. That's, uh, that's, that's nice. And we've got them in three different shades of pink. That's uh, beautiful, just beautiful. Those are so lovely. And uh, we, we'll send those home with them, of course. I see someone wants theirs right now. And I'm not opposed to giving it to her right now. But then I probably would lose it before she ended up taking it home with her. And it's so nice. I don't want that to happen. Well, she's got plenty of toys here to play with. Um, but I do need to put this all together so I don't forget. 
in fact, I'm going to write, here we go, there we go, right back in the bag. I'm going to write sprout drizzle until on this bag, because otherwise I'll forget that's a, that's a weird sort of group of three that only makes sense because those were the three that uh, still needed adopters before this class started getting theirs. Sprout, drizzle, till. There we go. That will work, I think, to jog my memory. I don't know if I can fit this note back in there, too. Maybe I can. So that's from Birds of a Sweater, which says it is in Wisconsin, United States. And uh, also, like I said, from Fiddle. Very cool. Okay. Well, this is the next one on top, and this one came straight to the house. So I think I know who this is from. But let's find out. Ooh, what is this all about? There's a cat in here. It's like a whole, like a whole cat. <laughs> I guess I better take it out so that this comment makes sense. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I recognize that cat. That is amazing. That is amazing. Um, hang on now. Let's see what this note says. With the gold chain to match. That is so cute. This, is, uh, this has three little cats stacked on top of each other, holding a fish, a couple fish, and a ball of yarn. Very, very cool pop-up. And the note says, just a little something to commemorate Teaspoon's birthday in addition to the faculty and his pending graduation from Trouble and Carrie. Look at him. He's very suspicious of this cat. He's like, it's like looking in a mirror. That's so cute. Oh my goodness, DJ is going to just lose it when she sees this. I wish she were up right now. She's, uh, like I said, still, I, like I said, no, I haven't said that yet today. She's still on, was still on night shift. Last night was her last night of being on night shift. So um, she's sleeping right now and probably will be sleeping in most of the day. But wow, when she sees this, it's even got a little label on it that says teaspoon. It's embroidered just like, oh man, DJ, it's always like you have to cut the labels off. This one is obviously not coming off. And the label also says it's from a place called Cuddle Clones. So this, this is really teaspoon. And I see he's got his whiskers are taped up so they don't get damaged in shipping. And I am not yet going to untape them because... Um, I, I, until I figure out where he's going to go that the cats won't be like in there biting those whiskers. He needs to go someplace, I think, where the cats won't be able to reach him. In fact, I would say, well, I don't know. I would say DJ should take him and put her, put him on her desk at work, but I don't, I don't think she'll do that. It's probably a little bit too much for that. <laughs> this is so cute. It's got the gold chain and he's got his graduation hat on. And I'm sorry, the tape on his face probably ruins the effect a little bit, but uh, I'm not going to take that off quite yet. It says, on my way home to you, my fur and ears may have flattened. Could you print me to make me feel like myself again? And it does say, at Cuddle Clones. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is just amazing how much it looks just like Little Teaspoon. That's, that's fantastic. I wonder how different, um, I mean, he's got the, the same eyes and face and uh, it even looks to me like they've, they've given him a little bit of his coloring around his eyes. That's that's fantastic. I don't I don't know where he's gone now. You can see he really was suspicious of it. He's like, oh no, they're replacing me with a clone. I knew this day would come. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna put him right back in the box so he stays safe from all of these cats and kittens. Uh, and oh man, I cannot wait for DJ to see this. I did not expect that when I opened this box and saw a cat. Uh, trouble, Carrie. Thank you and your human so very much. That is just. Amazing. That's amazing. Uh, I know. Wow. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. That's a, that's a very a wonderful gift that DJ is, is going to appreciate so much and that I appreciate so much. Um, wow. Okay. Well, we do still have to open the rest of the stuff. So let's keep going. It's going to be difficult to follow that though. It's like a, wow. Like you hear comedians say when they go on stage after a really good act. Oh, okay. Giant label on this one. Oh, Kitten Academy. Okay, cool. Right here in the top flap so I don't miss it. 
And a cute little sticker on the back. I guess I'm supposed to be showing those to that camera. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Happy Valentine's Day! And it's got a puppy with hearts, and inside it says, with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love. I see it's a long puppy, uh, as you can see. And, oh, does it fold? It folds all the way out. Look at that. I didn't have to show it to you that way. I can show it to you this way. And there's an indecipherable signature there, so thank goodness there's also a note. The note says... Happy almost Valentine's Day. By the time you receive this box, it will most likely be past Valentine's Day. Here in Florida, it's been winter-like, cold and cooler, and slowly warming up. I think last year it warmed up a lot faster, and it's already February. It's definitely been a colder month than in years past. Does DJ do anything to celebrate Valentine's Day? So, no, we, we don't, you know, we, there's not really any holiday that we celebrate except Christmas, and that's just because DJ likes the trappings of it. We don't really give each other gifts. Um, but um, the weather here has been also very interesting. It's been snowing real hard. We got our first serious snowfall of the entire winter earlier uh, this week, and right now having our second uh, notable snowfall of the winter. Uh, it's ongoing. So uh, it's interesting that it didn't really get cold until February. It says here, uh, I'm really excited for the two upcoming kitten programs we have here at work. They are the same program, but it's mainly to have the kids learn about kittens, and the ones they bring in can be adopted. I had about 15 kids last year. They have also promised me swag, including, but not limited to, kitten headbands. They also, oh, they have kitten ears, uh, kitten headbands with kitten ears. Uh, so adorable. One kitten last year, <laughs> what are you doing with that leaf? Oh my goodness. Um, one kitten last year, they were a tuxie and super playful. They almost got away, but they were grabbed just in time. Oh my goodness. Uh, here, I want to make sure that the ceiling camera's on if somebody hasn't already done it because the kids are playing and I realize none of the cameras have a good view of the rest of the room. There we go. That'll do. We can always look at uh, Till later on. Okay. The other was a sweet gray kitten and super shy, but almost all the kids were able to play with the kittens. I'm not sure how old they were, but the kittens were so tiny. I could feel their ribs. They did have their eyes and ears open and were very curious. Well, kittens grow so fast that it's you, you typically can feel the ribs even on very healthy kittens like these guys. Uh, I can feel their ribs. Of course, Sprout here feels a little bit more normal. Uh, but but that's, that's pretty typical no matter what age they are when they're growing so fast. It's just hard for them to keep up with it no matter how much they eat. Uh, let's see. We don't know what breeds or how old they will be. I'm hoping we can get a few to bottle feed, so that's pretty fun. They will stay for 90 minutes compared to the one hour last time. My co-workers are allergic, but they love kittens, so it should be lots of fun. <laughs> they do need that bothering time so they get used to being handled, right? Yeah, I agree um, that uh, it is important for kittens to be socialized with people uh, as often and, and as much as possible. Even the ones that seem like they don't like it very much benefit a lot from it. Since it's voting time for humans, does Patreon do any fun voting polls, i.e. who has the best personality, etc.? How fun would that be? I do love the art contest, contests. They come out really nicely. Me, I can draw a stick cat figure, and I don't think people would want to see that. Well, people would want to see that, but I have the same amount of artistic talent. Um, as far as voting polls go, we do vote on all the kittens, like who has the best personality. That always comes at the end of the year. It happens every year, and uh, Jimmy D does a big show with it. Um, and uh, I think it's Megalina that actually sets up like the questions and the polls and stuff. Uh, and it's, it's fantastic, the superlative awards every year. Um, let's see, on to the box. Okay, I went around town to find some cute Valentine's Day themed items. Not a lot, unfortunately, but... Ooh, oh, this is so cute. This is very cute stuff. Wow. Uh, you said cute Valentine's Day themed items, but I didn't expect it to be that cute. <laughs> uh, you say the treats, the food, and the toys to use as you see fit. If I missed anything else, it can be used as you see fit. I'm very excited to see the kids play with the multi-activity blanket. It's got a lot of fun things to do, plus it's very crinkly, which everyone knows kittens love. 
It's also the Super Bowl weekend. Do you or DJ watch it? I like the commercials. I don't watch it, but I do love the commercials. Um, last year, they were not that funny. I only see one that's pretty good and has my favorite actors in it. Apparently, it's like $7 million per commercial, which I assume includes paying the star to come in and do it, amongst other things. I do like the Budweiser commercials with the Clydesdale. They are cute. There's also the Puppy Bowl. I don't know if they have a kitten bowl, but who knows? Uh, yeah, the Puppy Bowl actually has been, uh, in past years anyway, I don't know about this year, um, uh, Dawes, our, the shelter that we work with, has been a big participant in that. So that's super cool and sort of, I guess, local. I, I, it's just amazing. Um, there is a kitten bowl, too, that's in competition with it, I think. on it, like it's, I think it's on an entirely different ch- channel network, which DJ and I have tuned into a few times. It's adorable. Uh, they usually put like silly costumes on the kittens, and you can tell they hate it. <laughs> it's just so fun. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, where was I? Please enjoy the assorted goodies responsibly. Hopefully the damage won't be too much to you and the house slash DJ love. Karen. Karen, thank you very much. All right, here. Uh, first off, this is so cute. This says, you're my jam. And it's got uh, two pieces of bread, uh, one with peanut butter, one with jelly. And then it's got a jelly jar that says, you're my jam. I love the pun, and it's adorable. Here, I guess I, I'm trying to show it over there. I don't know where to show anything anymore. Okay, we're just trying. We've got, this must be the activity mat. That is very Valentine's Day. Let's see here. Uh These activity mats usually have some long strings that I worry about with little kittens, but these kids are old enough now that I don't think I have to worry about it. Uh, This one, however, is tied in a knot that seems to also be holding the whole thing closed. And my little fingers are not uh, dexterous enough, I think, to undo this correctly. Now, that is uh, seriously knotted. Okay. Hang on. Seriously naughty. How do I get from there to undoing? You know what? If I just push the knot all the way to one end, then I can just do this instead. Here we go. There we go. Wait for somebody with better fingers to figure that out. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it is very crinkly. And a lot of little things to... This says crinkle sack, actually, so this is maybe not the activity matter. Maybe it is. Oh, wow, look at that. Now, I've never seen a kitten go into a crinkle sack like this. I've seen other things that are similar. But let's see if we prop it open a little bit, if they will actually go in. Well, now we're going to get one that goes straight in. We'll see how much they do that, though. Uh, we have here a, a piece of cake and a birthday present and two little mice wearing party hats. That's so cute. Now, that's so cute, too. Oh, my goodness. Where's my phone? There we go. Take a picture of you sticking your head out of there. Oh, too late. Well, that's fun. Uh, so this looks like little uh, birthday stuff for, for Teaspoon almost. I love the little mice wearing the party hats. That is the cutest thing, uh, if you can see that. All right. We have four envelopes that look a lot like the envelopes that were a favorite. All of these look a lot like the the favorite envelopes of Drizzle. Drizzle? Is that Drizzle over there? Is that Sprout? I think it's Drizzle. I think it's Sprout, actually. It looks too wide to be Drizzle. Boy, it's getting harder to tell them apart. Drizzle! I think it's Drizzle. No, I think it's Sprout. Oh, my goodness. If I could see them both, it would be easier. Drizzle? Sprout? That's Sprout. Now I can tell now that she moved a little closer. I want to give one of these to Drizzle right away, because it it does look like her favorite envelope that she uh, has just completely shredded. So we'll see if it's close enough for her. Here we have avocado toast and an avocado. Avocado. Sheba. Cat treats or cat food, that's very fun stuff. Delectable stew with chicken and tuna. What do you think, Maggie? I think Maggie likes it. Then we also have dental greenies in chicken flavor. 
Those are excellent treats. The cats go crazy for them. I think I mentioned before that um, when I give those out, it's nice to have crunchy treats, you know, um, a little less messy than things like churu. But when I give those out, they are so effective that the cats usually end up like biting my fingers after they're gone because the smell stays on my fingers and it's so much like the kitties want it. Um, so that's, that's how you know it's good stuff. And then we have, whoa, okay. <laughs> that was a bunch of noise all at once. Uh, then we have Fancy Feast, some cans of Fancy Feast. Wonderful. That's a good thing to have around. Um, we've still got, I think, plenty of it to, to give out, too, that we do sometimes, especially when somebody wants some different food. It's, uh, it's a great choice for that. So thank you so much for all of it. That's some very cute stuff. I can't wait to see if Drizzle will go for that envelope. I hope she does. The rest of it I'm going to put back in the box with some extra room so that I can carry stuff downstairs using it, perhaps. Of course, we'll see where we go through the rest of mailbag. These I'm setting aside. Your note I'm going to set aside over here. Uh, Karen, thank you very, very much. I love the letter with uh, the things to respond to in it, too. That's so nice to have. Oh, no! Somebody tore up Callie's uh, note right behind me. Look at that. At least that's our copy. That's okay. It's okay if they tear up our copy. Okay. This can go right in here, too, for now. Excellent. Okay. What? Here, hold this for me, buddy. What's next? Custard's on that one, so I guess we go here. Oh, this can go right in here, too. Perfect. This is a big one. I guess they both are. I wasn't talking about you, Custard. That's rude. Oh, hi. What do you think, buddy? Knife guard. Yes, it is. Oh, there's some pretty uh, paper there. I like this tissue. It says, hi, Mr. A and DJ. Hope all is well. I ventured into learning how to finger knit slash crochet. I made bed mats and blankets for the tiny wimies that can be used on the shelves of a cat tree, in a cat bed, seat of a chair or sofa, or just on the floor. Even though they aren't perfect, my cat bosses, Bayou, Abby, uh, Kara, and Gracie said I should send them anyway because they were made with love. Oh, I agree so much. I think handmade stuff is so sweet, no matter um, how well it is done. I, I just, I think it's, it's wonderful to see the, the time that someone put into it and to think about them just sitting there thinking about the kittens while they're doing it. And uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's a very, it makes you feel connected. So, um, let's see. They can be washed in cold water, gentle cycle, dry, low heat. Hopefully they will hold up in the wash. Gift bags for the babies each may have a few different items in them. I am including self-adhesive magnets that can be added to the back of the gift tags in case the aduders want to turn them into fridge magnets. Oh, I see. Uh, the compassion you and DJ have for all the students at the Academy makes me so happy and proud to be part of such a grand community. Kitten hugs, uh, Joy, and my, oh, Joy, and my cat bosses, Bayou, Abby, Cora, and Gracie. I see. Uh, I am sorry I wasn't able to decorate the box. I love doing it, but I had a lot less time to work on it. Thanks. Oh, don't worry about it, Joy. That's wonderful. I do always save your decorated boxes, though. The art that you do on those is fantastic. So, uh, no worries, though. Okay. Look at you kids. You like a crinkle bag. I made a big liar out of me, huh? The trouble is if it gets... Wow, that is some zoom in from Sprout. Ugh. Oh. We need to get the tissue put out for you guys. Maybe we'll do that right after mailbag. When I bring this stuff down, I can bring it right up, put it right here. That camera's got a great angle on it. And uh, we'll see if they, maybe if they still have any energy. Wow, these tags are fantastic. I can see why they would want them as fridge magnets. This is great. It is, uh, you, you did sort of a steampunk um, with like clock bits on it, but that's to represent time. It's obviously clockwork. Plus, there's a tiny clock charm, and then it says Julian in big block letters, which are, of course, they cut out of wood and they stand out. It's beautiful. And the bag itself is lovely. I love the fact that we can see into it. There's a big fuzzy mouse, um, a llama, 
Uh, oh, that little worm toy that's so cute that they had when they were little kids. There's still two of them that must be around here somewhere, but I haven't seen them in a while. Uh, we've got a Yao catnip banana, some little pom-pom balls, uh, another type of furry ball mouse thing. That is a great set of toys. Uh, fantastic. And the let's see if the rest of these are all... The, oh, they're similar, but they're different. This one has a different kind of clock charm on it. Wow, this one's for holiday. And it has a little sticker of a steampunk girl on it as well as being nicely wood cut. This is amazing. These are so nice. Uh, this one is for January with a yet another steampunk kitty and a yet another little clock charm. I don't know how they make so many or how you found so many different clock charms. Um, this one is for calendar. Oh, that's a cool one. It's a clock like a gear. That's a big one, too, for calendar, of course. And she's got a clockwork heart on it. There we go. This is Friday with a little pocket watch and another little steampunk kitty on it. Beautiful design. Oh, my goodness. This is for Gregorian. Uh, yet another little clock. Wow, they're all different. And a steampunk hat. And then finally, Monday. And they are all different. That's so cool. And this one has like a, a well, I think it's actually like a clockwork skull, if you look at it. That's very cool. I love it. Okay. That is all of the bags. We'll just throw that out there and I'll pick it up when we bring up the, the real thing. This is nice. Look at that. That's perfect. And it's made out of this really thick material that's super floofy. I think the kids are going to love sitting on these. And you made really nice tags for these too. They're a little wood cut. This one says Monday on it. And it's got uh, beads on a chain. Uh, this is a great color scheme for Monday. Julian gets this one that's uh, like a beautiful orangish, uh, like warm, very warm colors for Julian. All right. We have Gregorian with this lovely gray sort of monotone. That is beautiful. It's even like, a, it looks like a little bit of blue in there, maybe just a tiny hint of it to give it just a little bit of interest. It's, it's lovely. This is great. This goes with my color scheme in my office, I think. Uh, sort of the, the orangish yellow. It's like the muted version for holiday. Beautiful. Wow, look at that pattern. That is, that is great. That's some great work. I'm really impressed. You're like, these aren't very good. These are perfect. I can't see any flaws. Of course, I know how that is when you make something. You see every little flaw, um, but then the people that get it don't. Don't see that at all. Like, it's just, you're the only one that knows what to look for. Uh, so, this is for Friday and January. Oh, January's the dark side. Beautiful. These are so pretty and soft. Oh, my goodness. I want to sit on one. Uh, this is for, oh, and then Calendar gets an extra large. Look at that. Wow. Uh, we'll show both sides. This has also, it seems like it has incorporated all the colors that the kittens have gotten, which makes a certain kind of sense. How sweet is that? Okay, and now we have a, a drizzle, nope, a sprout in the box. Sprout out, out sprout. I have to put all these back in here because this is the perfect container for them. There we go. Wow, Joy F, that is spectacular. Uh, you do a fantastic job with those. You must be quite an artist, given the fact that uh, you've done such a wonderful job with these little physical uh, signs the, and the artwork on the outside of the box and now the crochet and knitting. Uh, what is there that you can't do, he asked. Uh, not expecting an answer. Go ahead, I'll, I'll give you a minute to tell me. It's fine. Uh, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I don't, I don't even know what to say. What a great, great set of items. These, their adopters are going to just love that so much. And how fun is it that at this point in Mailbag, um, for almost all of them, 
their adopter could be watching right now and thinking how wonderful that is, uh, you know, knowing already that it's going to be for their kitten. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Hmm. All right. Custard, I'm going to have to ask you to move, buddy. You're really being Ari today. This is Ari's trick. This is not your thing. Ari's usually the one that ends up sitting on the boxes, whichever box I need the most. Okay. Oh, they just knocked down the entire dinosaur. Wow, kids, these kids are... Talk about that is... Uh, let's see. Uh, it was a Triceratops, but now it's T-Rex. <laughs> Rex, do you get it, Rex? Uh, 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 <clears throat> All right. This has got some cute stickers on it, but I don't necessarily recognize the M.O., so we'll see. Oh, and it's packed in a trash bag. This is my style of packing right here. This is how I do it. Uh, so let's see. Oh, well, these look kind of familiar. That's interesting. Wow, it's the same type of yarn. I felt yarn. What do you call it? yarn when it's that thick? It's not felt either. I don't, what do you call this stuff? Uh, chenille? It seems like even bigger than that. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but look at this. It's a bed. This one says calendar. There's got to be a note in here somewhere that I missed. Let me look around the uh, the bag. This is uh, this is such a this is such a me uh, way of packing this stuff because um, this is oh there it is there we go right at the bottom um, the trash bag is exactly how I have packed up all of our like textiles that I'm putting in storage uh, our uh, attic has a bunch of like blankets and stuff uh, that are in trash bags. And our basement has a bunch of cat uh, beds. Most of them are in trash bags, although I decided to get really classy and bought um, some like clothes bags, duffels, like laundry duffels that are mesh so that I could see where each cat bed was if I was looking for a specific one. Um, but otherwise, it's all trash bags. I love it. Okay, here we have a really cool uh, painting of a cat wearing glasses. And the note that says, hello, KA family, it's been quite a while since I've been able to crochet because I've been recovering from wrist injuries. Oh, well, I'm glad you're well enough. It says, I'm finally well enough. So I'm very happy to send you beds for all the timey wimeys. I've included a picture of our babies, Vince and Howard, that are the latest addition to the family, our pandemic cats. And they are such a joy. Thank you, as always, for everything you do. Much love to all. Annie who is Keeb138 on Discord. Keeb, Annie, uh, thank you so much. This, I've only looked at the one so far. It's amazing. This is some great beds for all. Hi, buddy. Okay, I just had to put it on you because you were right there. So this is for calendars, lovely purple. Um, this material makes such nice soft cat beds. My goodness. Uh, fingers work. There we go. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I love your cat names. Oh my goodness. I feel like I must have heard these before because I knew somebody on our Discord had these cat names, but I wouldn't have been able to tell you who. So uh, the new ones are, let me check before I get to the ones that I think are fantastic. Vince and Howard. Okay. Vince Noir, who is a beautiful black kitty. The light there makes him almost look like a brown cat. And then Howard Moon, who is a tuxi. And they appear to have uh, little uh, Star Trek logos on their collars, if I'm seeing that correctly. Then you have a puppy named Tetra, who is a Cairn Terrier, perhaps? Uh, Schnauzer? It's hard to tell from this angle, but very cute with a great beard. And then your older kittens are Guybrush and LeChuck. Uh, fantastic reference to The Secret of Monkey Island. Uh, the original one was a game that I loved more than any of the, the early uh, LucasArts games. Uh, Secret of Monkey Island was my favorite for sure because uh, I did play the um, Maniac Mansion. You know, that was like an early... I never managed to finish it, though. There was The puzzles in it were maybe too much for me. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the Secret of Monkey Island was the first one that I really played a lot of. 
so Guybrush and, and Le- I never played most of the sequels to any of them, though. Uh, by the time they started making sequels to it, uh, Day of the Tentacle, like I never got into. Um, yeah, anyway, great names. That's my point. What am I saying? So let's take a look at the rest of these. Uh, Keeb138, uh, fantastic. Okay, so soft. Let's see here. Oh, wow, bold. Look at that. That's bright. This is for holiday. Oh, man, that's lovely. This is for Gregorian. That's gonna, He's going to look so good in that. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Whoa, wow, these are some bright colors. I love it. Uh, Monday... Look at that purple. That's so rich. Oh, and this teal. All right, that's my favorite. January. Perfect. And, oh, wow, this is almost like a Halloween set uh, for Julian. I love it. Uh, Whoa, one more. Hang on. There's one more. Uh, Sort of a cyan blue for this one. Friday. Oh, man, look at that. What a great stack of beds. These are fantastic. Between these and the blankets, these kids are going to be so warm and comfy. Uh, That's that's fantastic. Almost makes me hope that the weather stays cool through the end of March when they get adopted. Seems like a lot to ask, though, and a bad, selfish reason for it. So uh, these are so cute. I love also the little tags that you made for each one. Have a little cutout of a kitty and then a sticker of a, a heart sticker next to it. Very, very cute. <clears throat> well, that's it. That's mailbag. That's that's everything. What a fantastic mailbag. I love all the handmade things and the teaspoon doll and the wonderful treats and toys for the kitties. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. This is custard in a box. Custard! <laughs> what are you doing in there, buddy? I think this was a, was a really good idea. You know, with the weather outside, you never know if one of these is going to be left in the snow, if there's going to be melt. There, It even looks like... No, I was going to say, well, that's just a weird wrinkle in the cardboard. I was going to say, maybe it's even water-stained. Um, but, you know, this is a, that's a great way to keep make sure these things stay dry in there. So, really smart. Uh, I don't think we need it anymore, so I just took it out. But I am going to put all these back in because they fill it up perfectly. Oh, man, these are so nice. I almost want to sit in them. There we go. Okay, one more. <sighs> That's so great. Oh, man. And Joanne's uh, um, uh, poems, I'm going to actually tuck them in here to take them downstairs. Our copies go elsewhere. Of course, that all does go downstairs, so let me put that together here. Wow, thank you so much, everybody. And uh, by the way, um, I know what it's like to have uh, uh, wrist pain and injury that keeps you from doing everything you would want to. Uh, I've been going through a little bit of that myself, and uh, it, it stinks, so I'm, I'm glad that you're getting over it. Um, obviously, yours must have been a lot more severe. Um, for mine, I, I mostly just wear a brace when I think about it, and uh, it hasn't actually kept me from doing anything, although I have a feeling that my doctor would tell me that it should. Um, so hopefully I'm not doing too much extra damage there. Uh, all right, I'm going to tuck those in here too, because they all go downstairs. Uh, the rest of this I'm going to pick up. I am going to bring the tissue pit up. These guys seem like they're having a ton of fun with what tissue is here, so I can't wait to see what they do with all of it. Oh, and Drizzle, I kept this stuff out for you, for her, and she was here, and now she's not. She'll be back. I'm, I'm going to put these right over here, where I, where I will see them, probably. At least you, all of you will see them and be like, hey, you forgot Drizzle stuff. <laughs> these kids are all in it. Wow, they did not waste any time wrecking that. Such a cute little bird. Okay. Uh, let's see. So these can go with me. Uh, wow, we didn't get a single spare box out of that, did we? Everything's packed back up in the boxes. Okay. Oh! I don't know if you guys saw the coffee cup I'm using today. This was sent uh, quite a while ago in mailbag, and I, for a long time I had it on display on top of my coffee maker thinking it's way too fun to use. But... Uh, I finally was cleaning the kitchen. I thought, you know what? It's time. Time to start using it. Okay, I should turn this mic off before I forget. Otherwise, you guys are just going to follow me around and listen to me ramble to myself. Uh, Nobody needs that.
I love these bright colors. Oh, they're gonna, they're so great. Sprout right here. Also, I wanted to put the colors back on for real. It has been getting difficult to tell them apart at a glance. And uh, I know I kept seeing Drizzle's collar for the longest time. Or maybe it was Sprouts, the, the purple one. I forget who was who now. Wow, so that's going to help when I put their collars on. Uh, I know, though, I was seeing it around for the longest time, and now I can't think of where it was or where I put it. Probably in the bedroom in the drawer, though. That's the only place. One you can check for me. 